Okay, today, folks, we're going to be talking about IPFS and more specifically about pinning, pinning files in IPFS and kind of how it works. Uh, let's start by going to, let's do a little search for IPFS. Um, we'll go to their website and uh, we'll go to the docs. And under some commands, this command page, what we kind of look, kind of look at, we're going to focus on a few of these commands. We're going to use the add command, but primarily we're going to go down here and focus on pinning, IPFS pin, pin add, pin ls, and pin rm, and um, kind of explore how these work. Um, I have set up uh, my environment so I have access to my local machine, obviously, and I also have access to a uh, VPS, a DigitalOcean uh, VPS. Um, I basically have four uh, terminals windows open that we're going to be using. Um, the first one, this is act, this is just sort of a console to my uh, VPS. This is a console, a local console uh, to my local machine that we're going to use. Um, in this console, we're going to set up the daemon on my VPS for IPFS. And then this is where we're going to set up the daemon for uh, my local machine. Let's just start right here. Um, I need to do an IPFS init because I haven't done this yet. Um, so um, if you don't have a, uh, a repository created, you need to do the init. Um, so, and I'll do that on my VPS as well. I'll do an IPFS init. Okay, so now um, I want to run the daemon on both of these. So I'm going to say IPFS D daemon. And we'll get that started. And we'll do this one. So now basically I have two uh, nodes on the IPFS network that can talk to each other. And so we're going to kind of share some files between the two once this gets started here. Let's see how this works. Okay, so the daemon, this is the daemon on my local machine. This is the daemon on my VPS. We're going to go to the to start right here on my local machine. We're just going to create some files. I have this folder, this IPFS folder on my local machine. I've got nothing in it. Um, let's create a file. So I'm going to say echo hello, and we'll pipe that to hello.txt. <clears throat> now I have a file. Um, if I add that file to IPFS on my local machine, let's do that. Um, then we get this hash. Um, we're going to use this hash, and I'm just going to refer to it as Flixen because that's the last few letters of this hash. So this is the Flixen hash, which points to the content the words hello in um, which came from the hello.txt file. And so um, what, what we want to do is sort of explore what happens when we add this file. First of all, um, let's do an IPFS pin ls. The pin ls command allows us to see which files are pinned on in our local repository. If a file is pinned, it means that the file will remain on the computer. A file that's pinned on this computer will remain on this computer and the garbage collector will not go and and remove it. <clears throat> so let's see what we got. And you can see that the Flixen hash is right here. So my hello content has been pinned. Okay, and so um, another interesting com command that we'll be using here is IPFS uh, refs local. What this does, this will give us a list of all the hashes that are local. It doesn't mean they're pinned, it just means these are on this machine right now. And if you look, right here is Flixen. Okay? So, there, this, this hash is on this computer and it's been pinned. It's in both lists. Okay? And this happened by using IPFS add. Okay. When you use add, add automatically pins the file, the content. All right, so let's let's uh, <clears throat> let's copy this this hash, <clears throat> and let's move over to our VPS, and let's just do an IPFS pin. Oops, sorry. If we do it, this is the VPS now, so. This is a server on DigitalOcean. You can see that the, the Flixen 
um, hash has not been pinned, okay? And how could it be? How could it be pinned here? <clears throat> this computer knows nothing about this hash, nothing at all. We can also do the IPFS refs local. And we can look down through here, and we will not find that that uh, that hash, the Flixen hash, because, again, this computer knows nothing about this file. Let's do an IPFS cat with that hash, however. And you can see it comes up immediately. And what you have to think, what just happened, is that the VPS, <clears throat> the VPS just went out and said, okay, I want this hash. I want the content for this hash. The IPFS network found where, where it was, which is on my local machine, and, and then served the content to my VPS. <clears throat> and it did it very quickly. So um, let's go ahead and look at IPFS pin ls. And let's see if we see this Flixen hash. And, and if, as we look down through, we don't see it. Okay. So when I did the IPFS cat, it does not pin a file to your computer. Okay. Let's do the IPFS refs local. So now, certainly, I, I would expect to find it. And sure enough, there it is. Okay. So the file's on, on my, my VPS now, but it's not pinned. So when you use the IPFS add command, IPFS will pin the file. If you'd simply use the cat command, it's not going to be pinned. The file will not be pinned. So what's the consequence of that? The consequence of that is that um, the garbage collector, and we can just run the garbage collector by saying RP, IPFS repo GC, the, the garbage collector will remove it. And so you can see that um, the Flixen file was removed. And we can confirm that by saying IPFS refs local now. And the Flixen is not here anymore. Okay, and again, this is my VPS. The file, the content um, for that hash is no longer on my computer, on my, my VPS. So um, that doesn't mean I can't get it. I can still say IPFS cat. Oops. And go right back and get it again. Oops. And you can see it came right back, and uh, it came right back because it just went out and it had to come get it from my computer again, from my local computer. Okay. So we could also, let's say that I'm interested in this content and I don't, I want it to remain on my computer so I can have access to it quickly, um, and I and I just want to make sure it doesn't ever go away. Um, what I can do is so IPFS pin ls or excuse me, add. Oops. And I, so I use the IPFS pin add, and then, then all of a sudden, I can say IPFS pin ls, and now um, there's the Flixen file in my pin, my pin list. So now this file will not go away with garbage collection. So if I say IPFS repo gc, you can see it got rid of a few, a few files, but the Flixen file was not one of them. And in fact, IPS pin ls, it's still here. Okay, so let's pretend. Let's say that I have thousands and thousands of files on my IPFS. My hard drive is filling up. I need to remove some of these files. Um, I've pinned many, many files, so I can say IPFS pin rm, and I can remove that hash, that content, from being pinned. Once I do that, it's still on my computer, but the garbage collector can take care of it now. Let's confirm that by saying refs local, and um, there's the Flixen file. It's no longer pinned, but it's still on my computer. And if we say PFS repo GC, um, then you'll see it go away. You'll see that the repo, the garbage collector will take it away and remove it. Okay. So now the file is no longer on my computer. And so let's go. Let's go. Let's do kind of an experiment here. Let's go back to my local computer, and let's say IPFS pin. I can't remember where we where we left this. Um, we can say that Flixen is still pinned here. So let's remove it from being pinned. IPFS pin rm. Okay. Now it's been. It's not on the pin list. Um, however, if we do the refs uh, local, we'll still see it. 
Uh, we see the Plixen. Where is it? It's got to be near somewhere. I thought. Yeah, so it's right here. There's the file. So it's still on my repository. It's still on my repo. So we're going to do the IPFS repo GC. So now you can see it removed it. It removed this. And so now it should be gone from my computer. It should be gone from my local computer and my uh, VPS. Now, we're, we're kind of exposing, at this point, we're going to expose kind of a, a bug that's, that's uh, currently exists with IPFS and that the, the repo has not really gotten rid of the file. And so to actually really get rid of the file, so I can demonstrate this, I'm going to stop the daemons <clears throat> and restart. So I'm on my VPS and I'm going to restart the daemon. And, there, and you shouldn't have to do this. This is sort of to a workaround for the existing bug in IPFS. Um, I'm, I'm going to stop this one and restart it. And some, and most of the time, this this takes care of the problem. But because what I expect is, I expect to, when I do IPFS cat and this, I, I don't I don't expect to be able to find this file because I removed it from from the server, <clears throat> the VPS, I unpinned it and removed it from the cache on my VPS, and I unpinned it and removed it from my cache on my local machine. So, and see, it, it, it's still coming back here. But normally what would happen and what should happen is that, <clears throat> let's do it out here and see if we can get it to work. Yeah, and so, what should happen is it shouldn't it shouldn't find it shouldn't be able to find this file. So I'm gonna we're gonna go and IP config. Yeah, what am I doing here? Excuse me. IPFS um, repo GC. We're gonna do a GC again because I want to show you that this these files can go away. It just takes a little bit of work at this point. So I got flicks and remove there. We got flicks and remove there. We're going to restart <coughs> the daemons again. And again, this what I'm doing now you shouldn't have to do and will be fixed. This is sort of a bug that will get fixed. Come on. <coughs> so we'll restart our daemons. And at some point, <coughs> it's going to get flushed from the cache and the file will, will not exist anymore. All right, so I can restart both my daemons. It's going to come out here and do a cat, and it still found it. <clears throat> so, all right, I think I'm going to give up on that one, on that particular point at this point. Um, repo GC. And so um, one thing that's important to understand is that when you put a content on the IPFS network, it's difficult to remove that content. And another point is that when you put content on IPFS, it's impossible to change the content. The content is immutable. All you can do is sort of version the content, give create a new version of the content, which will create a new um, hash, and then you would have to distribute that hash. Eventually, the old hash will go away if no one is interested in that file. If the files are not pinned on any node, and the nodes caches and every nodes, and it's been cleared from every cache, then that file or that content is gone. You can see that if thousands of people are interested in your content and pin your content, it'd be very difficult, extremely difficult, for that content to be removed from the IPFS network. So um, I hope you uh, got something out of this lesson. Uh, I think that's all for now. Uh